Let's all learn to recognize the Augusta Westland EW109 helicopter, formerly known as the Harando A109. The A109 was designed and built in Italy and it has been in production since 1976, so for more than 40 years. Today it is used by more than 20 militaries throughout the world from militaries as large as the Royal Air Force to smaller militaries such as the Royal New Zealand Air Force. While this video will concentrate on the AW109, there is also another version, a single engine version of this helicopter called the A1, excuse me, the AW119. But for the sake of this video, we will stick with the AW109. Uh, just so you know though, the AW119 looks very similar, except it has skids as opposed to wheels for landing gear. That's the, one of the biggest differences. This helicopter has a four-bladed main rotor mounted on the hump or the gearbox fairing above the body midsection. You can see that there with that yellow oval. This here is the A109BA, which is slightly different. It has slightly different exhausts and it has fixed landing gear. There is no tail extension below the tail fin, so that tail extension also belly fin. And this is, going to, this is a little bit different, but it's still, of course, basically recognizable as a, a Harando or Augusta Westland 109. You'll notice in this one here, it has weapon carrying platforms at the bottom of the midsection, as you can see in that yellow oval. Now, those weapon carrying platforms, of course, can be removed, but I thought I'd put it in here because there are a few differences between this version of the AW109 and the others that we're going to look at in this episode. This aircraft has two turboshaft engines on top of the fuselage. There are exhaust ports, which are marked in blue there, in that blue oval. They protrude upward and to the rear of the aircraft, as you can see there. This example of the helicopter belongs to the Nigerian Air Force. You will see here a tapered, rounded nose section, as you can see with the blue oval at the nose there, and a stepped-up cockpit. This helicopter has a flat side of fuselage that tapers to a point beyond the tail and an upswept tapered rear section. Which, both of those there are fairly obvious, I think, in this photo. We can see here also it has a small rotor on the left side attached to the tapered tail boom. This helicopter has retractable landing gear, and as I said, that's one of the primary visual differences between the AW109 and the AW119. For the most part, the AW119 has fixed landing gear, or actually skids, not wheels, but it has those fixed skids. You can see here this helicopter has a swept back tail and tapered tail fin with the angular tip. Now if you like, compare the tail fin with this helicopter in this photo with the earlier photo we saw of the A109 that would belong to the Belgians. Quite different as you will see if you go back and check. We also here have here a swept back and tapered belly fin with an angular tip, as you can see in the blue oval, and we have tail wing flats on the tail boom, mid-mounted on, on the tail boom, as you can see with that yellow oval there. 
This is quite a good diagram here of the Hirondo AW109 or the A109. Notice that those four bladed main rotors that you see in this picture, they can change the tip. These blades can change slightly. Now this diagram here shows a version of the helicopter, an earlier version, which is slightly different from the later versions. However, it's still basically with the later versions or the earlier versions, the, same, the basic characteristics of this helicopter are there that are fairly obvious no matter what, such as retractable landing gear, the tail boom, the tail boom extending past the, the stabilizer, the mid-mounted tail flats, the engine fairing, that kind of thing, with a gearbox fairing on top of the helicopter. And of course the nose as well and that stepped up cockpit. Alright everybody, that's all I have for now. That's it for this episode. So thanks for watching. Take care and see you later on. Bye.